Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. Pulitzer Prize winner Michael R. Jackson is back with his latest musical called White Girl in Danger. Under the direction of Liliana Blaine Cruz, it begins performances on March 14th at Second Stage, and we drop by Haswell Greens to meet the company. How excited are you, White Girl in Danger? I couldn't be more excited. I couldn't be more excited. I feel like something of the utmost dangerous is going to happen and everyone's going to witness it. How excited are you to be a part of this? I am incredibly excited. I've been a part of this show since 2017 and we were supposed to get a run early 2020 but then the pandemic happened so I'm just really happy to finally get people to see the show. How do you describe what this show is all about? <laughs> How do you describe White Girl in Danger, the question of the hour? I mean, it's it's a soap opera town called All White, and Keisha, part of the black round, is trying to get into the center of it. And so you literally are watching her move through, like, thousands of genres as she tries to get to the center of the story. How did the idea come to you? Did you love soap operas? Yes, I grew up watching soap operas from a, as a very little kid. My um, Both my parents worked, and so before I was old enough to go to school, they would drop me off at my great aunt Ruth's house, and we would watch uh, Young and the Restless at 12.30, Days of Our Lives at 1, Another World at 2, and Santa Barbara at 3. And I just began to get so engrossed in, in the world of that, uh, that I carried on even after I started school and as I got older and into college and into, uh, uh, into young adulthood. And I got the idea because I also grew up watching like Lifetime movies and Monday night movies and, and I realized that they all had a common thread which was like would be a white girl or woman who would be in some sort of peril either of her own making or because of someone uh, kind of causing problems for her. And I sort of just came up with this funny little tune that goes, white girl in danger. She's doing drugs, but she won't do her homework. And it was just gonna be a spoof of sort of those, those narratives. But then these conversations about diversity, equity, inclusion, representation started to really bubble up in culture. And I started to think about my perspective on them as a black author. And because I sort of come at it in a different place because my sort of default consciousness is a black one, but I also grew up watching a lot of white things. So I just sort of, the, the idea, the ideas of like this spoof of a soap opera and these conversations around inclusion sort of came together like H2O. And, and, and thus the story for White Girl in Danger was born, which is a really sort of rip roaring, hilarious, but also sort of secretly deep dive into the, the very notion of the word inclusion. Yeah.